everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really well so today's video marks the start of autumn haul week here on my youtube channel so i mentioned this in my last video which was a testing makeup video it's actually this makeup look i'm filming this video on the same day so if you'd like to see the products i'm using and like my impre my first impressions on them then i will leave the video linked in a card up here on one of these sides for you to check it out if you like that kind of thing but today is a haul video as promised so this week I'm going to be filming a new haul video every single day so that you can see what's new on the high street, what's new out there for autumn. I don't know about you, but autumn is one of my favourite seasons. I'm so excited about autumn weather, the leaves turning like autumnal and like rust and orange. Oh, I'm just so excited. I'm also pretty excited for autumn styling as well. Like I said, it's just one of my favourite seasons and autumn styling in particular is just I love it. I just love it. So if autumn is also your kind of thing, then please do subscribe to my channel if you are new and not yet subscribed. I'd absolutely love to have you here on my channel and that way you won't miss any of my haul videos this week and also future videos. I share a lot of like styling. I also do bits of beauty and lifestyle here and there as well. So if that's your kind of thing, then please do subscribe and join me here on my channel. I would love to have you here. So kickstarting things with Topshop rather excitingly. I feel like I haven't done a Topshop haul in ages but they had some really great things for autumn time this is actually quite a transitional haul i have to say there are some things that are potentially like a little bit more summery but you know if we do ever have some of that like last minute sunshine like we've just had a september heat wave so who knows what's in store for the future for autumn so i've got some really cool bits and just to let you know as a heads up these things were sent to me by topshop because i am working with them on a campaign separate to this like this isn't sponsored or anything like that but these pieces were sent to me however I did choose them and they are all my picks things I love and yeah starting off with knitwear because I mean autumn winter knitwear is just the key piece that you need in your wardrobe I love knitwear and I hate to sort of wish away the warm weather we've been having but honestly I'm so excited to just cozy up and wear a jumper like this oh the autumn knitwear is just the one so I really really loved this from Topshop now this was actually from the petite section it was either the petite section or it was a cropped jumper basically it was either one of those two and for that reason I sized up so I got this in a size medium but actually I don't think I needed to have sized up because I think you can tell as soon as I do this that this is a very oversized design anyway so it's designed to have an oversized fit it's quite roomy the sleeves are quite roomy as well and it is really nice but it is a little bit big on me to be completely honest with you I should have just got a small but I still really like this and I have styled it it's nice as like an oversized fit actually I also think that this will be a really nice layer piece because of the colour and this little print that it's got is just sort of like a little knitted detail. I think this will look really nice over a roll neck as well so as part of layering come more cold winter evenings it'll be really good to layer pieces like that and I just liked this. I thought it was a really really nice piece and I mean like I said I love my knitwear. I love cosy pieces like this. I got quite a few denim picks in this haul as well so I'm really excited about that because Topshop denim is one of my favorite high street denims I mean most of the jeans in my wardrobe are Topshop I believe I've actually done a denim collection video fairly recently it was like whilst we were in lockdown so a couple of months ago but where I basically tried on every single pair of jeans that I have in my wardrobe so if you want to see that then do check that out but I have a couple more pairs to add to that collection now so first up I got these black jeans I feel like I didn't have a lot of black jeans in my collection didn't have a lot in that video so really quite excited to like update with a new pair so these are the Topshop straight jeans I got these in a waist 25 and length 32 and they fit really well they're not like super high waisted but they're like a good they, they like end at a good place if that makes sense I have some jeans that I high-waisted literally like up to my belly button but then others that are more like 
I don't know, I don't know what to call it, like a little bit lower basically. I just really liked these, like I said, I really wanted a pair of black denim. I love their straight leg denim and I love this kind of denim that isn't too high waisted so I never feel like too restricted or anything like that. It's just nice and like comfy. So really like these. These are actually frayed on the edge. They're not like super frayed because they are quite new but with more wear and you can even just go with your fingers and like make this look a little more frayed but I love that because again I didn't really have much denim in my collection with more of a raw edge and I really like that look in denim and I thought particularly for black denim it makes it look a little bit more interesting and this next pair is probably the pair I was most excited about and maybe even the thing I'm most excited about in this whole haul I just love these and I'm so pleased I sort of bit the bullet with these because honestly they're out there they're definitely outside of my comfort zone and I was umming and ahhing about these whether or not I should sort of choose these because I didn't know if I would wear them a lot but honestly I think I'm going to get so much wear out of them so these are, well, they say Topshop 1, but I don't think that's the style of these. I think these are like the tapered mum jeans, but like oversized or like balloon fit. Basically, they go into a very wide leg. They are so high-waisted. I don't know if you can tell whilst I'm holding it, but you will be able to tell when I try these on in the cutaway. These are super high-waisted, which I love. They are currently, like, they're so long. They're currently unfolded, so you can see they're like this wide leg. I love these. I think they're really fab. Again, I got these in a waist 25 and length 32. I kind of wish that these were a little bit longer though. I don't know if they do them in a 34. I know Topshop does do length 34 generally speaking, but I don't know if this particular pair of jeans does come in a longer length, but that would just basically cover my feet when I wear heels. And I think for me, that would be perfect, like the dream. So these aren't that long, but that's my fault as opposed to being like Topshop's fault. If you are shorter, then these will probably cover your feet. And that is a style that I personally like. I know some people don't even like that. But I love these. They're so nice. They're so high-waisted. They fit me really well. They are super long, although not long enough to cover my feet. Um, I'll point that out. And I just really love them. I've worn them sort of rolled on the hem, which I think just looks so cool. They're just a super cool pair of jeans, in my opinion. I think they look really great. And I love this wash of denim, too. It's a really beautiful light wash. I think it will look great with, like... Basically, I can imagine this with like a white square neck top now that we're sort of in the end of summer. But if you've still got tan that you want to show off, maybe that would look really nice. Or like for an evening out or something where you're dressing up a little bit more, that would look really beautiful. But equally layered with like big dark knit wear on and like some dark black or dark brown ankle boots on like it would just look beautiful I cannot wait to style these now that I'm home in London honestly I'm so excited to wear these and next up we've got a midi dress midi dresses have been like my most warm thing this summer I have loved them and in the summer usually I do like a mini skirt a mini dress that kind of thing but this year I've just really fallen for midis I just think they're so nice and so easy to wear for like whatever you're doing so really fallen for those and I couldn't resist a more autumn autumnal twist with this beautiful dress so I was gonna say so it's from Topshop but obviously everything in this haul is from Topshop but it's really pretty it's got this little ruffle detailing short little sleeves which are quite nice they are also elasticated so they keep their shape and then it just goes into a nice midi length like I have to be honest there's not like much to it like it's just a simple dress but I love that about it and it's also got an open back which I don't know if you can see on camera but I really really like I didn't know it had that and usually an open back is not something that I'm too keen on if I'm being honest but I loved this I wore it in Portugal and it was really beautiful I think it looked really nice it's a nice way to like still show a bit of skin I think but you still feel like super covered around the front where it's like such a high neck and a midi length as well so it is nice that it's got this little bit of extra detailing on the back I think it's really pretty I also picked up a pair of heels from Topshop I haven't had Topshop footwear in a long time and usually I have to be honest if I buy footwear from the high street it's usually boots because I just love love ankle boots. Ankle boots are like my favourite thing ever. So, and, and with that in mind, Topshop have a beautiful pair of like white or like cream coloured boots, which I really, 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 really wanted. I still do really want and I might still get them later down the line. But for now, I thought these are really nice. They're a nice patent black and they've got a really good chunky heel, which is great because it means they're quite easy to walk in. A peep toe so you can still show off your like summer manicure. And then it's just got this 
ankle strap so it sort of keeps them in place basically they're quite a basic shoe I would say like it isn't something super fancy or, or, or something that will go out of fashion or go out of style in my opinion anyway so I think these are a really good like classic pair of heels to have in your collection if you are someone who wears heels maybe not that much or maybe if you wear them all the time like they're really versatile best of both worlds really chunky heel like I said so they are super comfortable and so easy to walk in I actually have these in a size smaller so I have these in a size six and I'm usually a size seven but um, they fit fine. I do think they're probably like a little bit small, but I get away with it because the front is open toe. Um, but they had no size seven when I was ordering these and I really wanted them. So I ended up sizing down, which isn't something you should do. Wouldn't recommend you do it. But on this occasion, it actually worked out well for me. So very happy with that. Sticking to knitwear, this was something that instantly caught my eye and it's something that I think you're going to see a little bit more in my upcoming hauls this week because I've been seeing this a lot and that is fluffy knitwear. So you might not be able to tell to be honest but hopefully you will in the cutaways but this is basically like a brushed fluff look basically I don't know I'm sure it's got a technical name but I don't know what it is and I just loved it I thought this was so nice cardigans are super big at the moment as well as this brushed fluffy effect so this literally is like two trends in one which I love and it's got puff sleeves which again quite trendy puff sleeves is something that I would say has been carried forward from spring summer as well so it's really cool to see it in knitwear actually I think it makes things like this is just a plain black cardigan like if you hear that it sounds pretty boring in my opinion but you add the puff sleeves you add the beautiful like patent buttons you add the fluffy texture I think it makes it just so much more versatile and like so much more is going on in my opinion in my opinion anyway so yeah really like this it's a button down you can wear it open like I have worn a few times or you can wear it buttoned up like this I've actually been loving wearing it like this so it's kind of like a jumper in its own right which I really like and it's just so nice it's so fluffy I can't tell you how soft and fluffy this is I love it I realized when I was talking about denim I forgot to share my final denim piece of this haul and it's actually a denim mini skirt at the start of summer I really really wanted a denim mini skirt and I was like oh I wish I'd bought one for the summer and I didn't so then I ended up buying one for like late summer which I don't know if it's a bit of a silly thing but actually I love wearing stuff like this for example shorts and mini skirts paired with like blazers with knitwear you know just like layering it up a little bit more so that like I, I keep talking about showing off a tan because that's honestly all I'm trying to do but if you're like showing off your tanned legs or something like that having a little mini skirt like this but with maybe a roll neck underneath and then a blazer over the top of that like that's such a nice way to like style yourself into autumn you know add some ankle boots with this it's just a really cool transitional outfit in my opinion so despite being in September almost October I really don't think it's too late to buy yourself a denim skirt if you don't have one or if you really want one I really think it can be styled in so many ways for autumn this fits me really well actually I got it in a size eight and usually I would size down for a six if I want something quite high-waisted and quite fitted but where this is denim I don't think it's like too stretchy and I just wouldn't want to feel restricted and like I said buying a denim mini skirt in September obviously my outfits aren't in mind with like little vest tops or strappy tops or things like that it's more so to wear with knitwear and like big jumpers and blazers and things like that so it is quite nice that it's not so fitted and so restricted so again another piece I literally cannot wait to style for autumn my final pick is a wild card without a shadow of a doubt this was basically I kept looking at this and I sort of had it in my save tabs and I was like oh I'm not sure about this we'll see and then I was like mm, no I don't think I'll get much wear out of it but then I'd be like oh but I really do like it it was one of those that basically you know sometimes you're looking online and you're like hmm what should I get what should what shouldn't I get and it's just like it was just at the back of my mind the whole time so I was always like oh I do really like that piece I, I do really like that piece I just kept thinking about it so I thought to myself do you know what I can't stop thinking about it I'll probably regret it if I don't at least try it so I'm just gonna go ahead and order it I love it like it's such an unusual piece it's a really weird material it almost feels a bit like scuba material which I noticed quite a bit in some summer pieces this year so it's just yeah it's an unusual material it's an unusual like design in my opinion and 
I just love it. Like, there's just something about it that really makes me love it. I've worn all of these things paired with those patent heels, so they are really versatile. And this is just beautiful. It will be beautiful summer abroad. I wore this in Portugal and I absolutely loved it there. But equally, I do think you could wear this for like a nice evening this time of year. Pair it with some darker accessories maybe, even with some ankle boots. I think this could look really great. It's just so nice. And like I said, it's a piece that I just couldn't resist. It was like, it was calling my name. They also do this in like a bright, like fuchsia pink, but I went for this kind of yellowy orange color. It's very yellow for me, but in my viewfinder, it's looking quite orange, but it's definitely yellow. And I just love it. It's beautiful. So it's got this little design along the bust and then it's got a... I mean, what do you call this kind of strap? It's got the strappy strap and then you've got like an extra arm um, detailing as well. Again, I'm sure that's got a name. I just don't know what it is. It's a midi. Like I said, I was loving my midis. And then it's got a slit down the middle, which again, I think is quite unusual. I do think it's an unusual piece and I do think it's something that's quite out there. But honestly... I just loved it. And so those were the pieces that I got from Topshop for autumn. I really hope you liked them. I have styled them all in Portugal already, quite autumnal, and like picture 30 plus degree weather with me shooting knitwear, denim, like the warmest things ever. It was pretty tough. So I'm very excited to actually wear these pieces and style them a bit more for autumn now that I'm back in London and that the weather will be autumnal. I've also just noticed that I think you could probably see my tracksuit shorts the whole time, which is a little bit embarrassing, a little bit of a blunder, but you know, it's that thing that everyone says with like YouTube life where you've got a nice top at the top, but then at the bottom, you're always either in pajamas or like tracksuits and that couldn't be more true today and now you get a bit of both um, unintentionally I didn't mean to but what can you do so I hope you liked this video don't forget that this whole week I'm sharing haul videos so every day this week you'll get a brand new haul from me if there are any brands that you would like to see me feature then do leave them in the comments down below and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you all tomorrow for day two of haul week a big thanks for watching bye